Hi there, in this video we're going to go through the proof of the Gauss-Markov theorem but we're going to do it in this stage in matrix form. And I would just like to say that there is another video available which is the proof of the Gauss-Markov theorem but in summation form rather than matrix form. So if you're not comfortable with matrices you can always just have a look at that. Okay, so the idea here is that we have some population model which is y is equal to some matrix of variables x times beta plus some sort of population error u. And the normal form for the least squared estimator is beta hat is equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed times my sort of vector of dependent variables y. And the idea with the Gauss-Markov um, theorem proof is that the sort of first stage is that we form some other estimator and we have to prove that some other estimator, let's say beta tilde, is unbiased under certain conditions, right? Because the Gauss-Markov theorem is about whether what are the conditions under which least squares estimators are blue. And one of the components of being blue is that it has to be unbiased. So first of all, we demonstrate the sort of conditions necessary for beta tilde to be unbiased. And then we go ahead and we find the variance for beta tilde. And the idea with this proof is that as we sort of go through, we will prove that the variance of beta tilde is greater than the variance or greater than or equal to the variance of least squared estimators. So in doing so, we would have proved the Gauss-Markov theorem. Okay, so to sort of form our estimated beta tilde, let's sort of say that beta tilde is equal to our sort of least squares estimator, so x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed y, plus some sort of extra bit, some sort of d times y, where d is some sort of matrix. Okay, so that's our beta tilde, our sort of new estimator. And we have to prove the conditions for which beta tilde is going to be unbiased. So in order to do that, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in our y here in for the y here and here in our beta tilde. So just doing that, we can sort of rewrite beta tilde. It's equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed. Now substituting in for y, I get x beta plus, now I've got an x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed u now, right? So I've substituted for y in for that first half of our relationship here. So writing in for d, we can write this as d times x beta plus d times u. Okay, so that's our sort of general form of our least squared estimator. And notice that we can cancel actually this x prime x with this x prime x because I've got basically this matrix inverse times itself. So they just cancel, I just get the identity matrix. So I've just got beta tilde is equal to beta plus all this other stuff. But notice that when I take expectations of beta, so if I sort of was to write the expectation of beta tilde, then because I've assumed that we've got zero conditional mean of errors, my expectations operator passes through this stuff, and I just get left the expectation of u, which is zero. So this term disappears. And also, it's nothing unique to our sort of matrix x prime x, x to the power minus 1 times x prime u. It also passes through the d matrix. So this term disappears as well. So sort of writing it out in sort of as clean a form as we can, we can write that the expectation of beta tilde under the assumption that we've got zero conditional mean of errors is equal to the true population parameter beta plus our matrix D x times beta. Yeah, so that's our form which we've got for our expectation of beta tilde. In the next video, we're going to show the conditions for beta tilde to be unbiased. And then we're going to go ahead and find the variance for that particular estimator under those conditions. I'll see you then.